Right, so now what we want to do is create the mobile header. So let's just uncomment this out. And essentially, we just need to create this component. So let's go ahead and create a new file, mobileheader.tsx, and then refce. And in here, what we want to do is create that sidebar that we've seen earlier. So first of all, what we want to install is headless UI. So I'm just going to quickly install that. Beyond add headless UI slash react. And we're going to be using the dialogue component from there. So let me just quickly run Yarn Dev once again. And in our mobile header, I'm going to import the dialogue from Headless UI. So let's import that. Now, what this does is it has certain props on there that we need to access. So this dialogue is going to be as a div. So let's name it as div. And it's going to show some errors. You can see here, there's certain props that it needs to add. So dialogue as div is going to be a class name of, and the class name is going to be on large screens. This needs to be hidden. So the opposite of what we've done previously. And then on open, this is going to be showing as the mobile menu open. So this is where we will be receiving the props. So I'm just going to do mobile menu open like this. And then one more, which is the on close. We want to do the set mobile menu open on here. So essentially it's just handling the states for us. So all we need to do is pass in the state. So let's receive the props first of all. So in here, I've got the mobile menu open as a prop and set mobile menu open. So now we just need to receive these props and create the type. So let's go ahead and do that. So in our types, I want to receive these props. So export, and this time I'm going to do an interface of mobile menu props. And this time I want to just add the mobile menu open because we are going to extend the desktop header props in here. So extends, or you could do modular, it's up to you like so. So basically this mobile menu props now will have all of the desktop header props plus this mobile menu open prop as well. So all I need to do now is import this in like so, and now save. And we just need to pass these two props into the mobile header itself. So let's just pass them in here as well so now if i save all i need to do is import mobile header and now all of the errors have now gone and all we need to do now in this dialog is build out the mobile header so i'm just going to render mobile header in here just to see if it's all working and the functionality is working correctly so let's go back into our code so essentially we have our desktop header here but when we scroll or shrink it down, it goes to our mobile menu. When I click this, it then opens the mobile header here. So all we need to do now is style this menu here because the desktop header is complete. We just need to do the mobile one. And you can see here it's toggling open and close as well.